And I thought Halston was a wise guy when he called me this morning about wearing blue with white stars. <laughs> yeah, who? <laughs> Will you begin, Margo? Yes. The nominees for the best achievement in sound are Arthur Pienta... Pienta Ducey, Les Freshholtz, Richard Tyler, and Al Overton Jr. for Bite the Bullet. Richard Portman, Don McDougal, Curly Thurwell, and Jack Solomon for Funny Lady. Leonard Peterson, John A. Bolger Jr., John Mack, and Don K. Sharpless for The Hindenburg. Robert L. Hoyt, Roger Heeman, Earl Muddery, John Carter for Jaws. Harry W. Tetrick. Aaron Roshin, William McCoy, and Roy Sharman for The Wind and the Lion. And the winner is... Oh, boy. <laughs> Robert L. Hoyt, Roger Heeman, Earl Matarey, and John Carter for Joy. <laughs> I really don't know what to say, except uh, I thank everybody very much, and uh, gee, that's all I can really say. <laughs> thank you. I can only echo Mr. Hoyt's sentiments. It's a great honor. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the Sound Branch Executive Committee who promoted, and the Academy Board who voted this Oscar because it has extended to the sound effects mixer for the first time this honor. And I also would like to, to include the sound effects editors at Universal who provided my material and made my contribution possible. I would like to thank John McDonald and Bill Griffith and all the rest of them that contributed so much for it. Thank you very much. Thank you.